25 euros per person so i'm gonna have to pay a little bit extra for the breakfast but we'll get this like huge spread and the owner makes it like all herself and apparently it's like a very big breakfast so um i'm sitting here in a shed um as you can tell a little messy a lot of shoes um and I'm recording today because Lauren keeps telling me that like I need to like record more and more so like I have a little surprise uh, today's uh, the 14th uh, sorry the 26th of August Friday 26th of August and that means we're exactly two weeks out of our wedding and um, as we're planning this wedding, a couple of months ago, I realized we have a guy playing piano at the wedding. So I was like, well, that will be kind of cool if I learned to play a song. So I spontaneously went and bought a keyboard uh, so I could practice a little bit. And I thought the idea was really good. This is like a couple of months ago. Uh, but then what ended up happening was that uh, I left for Michigan to go uh, hang out with Lauren before games. So like my plan kind of like, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but all of a sudden my idea of like um, like learning how to play piano was like in a two month period was condensed down to one month so uh, yeah I played for about a week or ten days something like that then I left from Michigan I came back and now like obviously Lauren is here so like it's really hard to like practice because I have to pretend that I'm doing something else I can't tell her I'm going to practice because it's a surprise so yeah I keep telling her that I'm going over to organize the shed we're currently staying with uh, Lauren's parents at their house which is like about 10 minutes away from here this is our old house where we have our shed and I keep telling her that I'm just going over there to organize the shed and like I don't know how she hasn't figured out that um, it's been taking me about I don't know like 200 hours now it's not entirely true but it's been taking a lot of uh, going to organize your shed now to get this shed organized in reality what I'm doing over here is I'm organizing a little bit so it looks like I actually make a little bit of progress but then I pull out this keyboard and uh, I practice a little bit the problem is that there's 14 until the, 14 days until the wedding and I do have a lot, long ways to go I'll play a little bit right now so you can see where I'm at and then I'm actually going to take um, lessons here in a little bit uh, from, a, from a guy. This is the first time I got, I think I have five lessons with him before I take off. We're leaving, we're leaving next Saturday which is, uh, shoot, eight days from now, we're leaving in eight days. Uh, so this essentially means that I have eight days to learn this song. So anyway, oh this song by the way is, I know it's a little cheesy but that was the, the easiest one I could find. It's uh, Perfect by Ed Sharon. So here we go, let's see where can I put this, maybe over there. Don't judge. All right. already made a bunch of mistakes but um, I do have to get going because I'm meeting with the guy in 20 minutes so um, that was a very rushed version of the first part of the song with quite a few mistakes um, anyway yeah this is what I'm doing oh and uh, yeah this a like this shed doesn't really have an it has an AC up there but it doesn't really work so it's like 85 degrees in here it's like horrible to sit in here and practice but as I said kind of the only option to uh, to avoid Lauren like like knowing that I'm practicing so yeah me going to work and I should shit uh, means that I'm going to practice piano and doing a little bit of organizing the shed.
So when I first started writing this, or when I thought about, because I didn't write the speech until a couple of days ago, uh, when I first started thinking about like what to do for this speech, I was like, do I do this in Danish? Um, do I do it in English? Do I like write it in, like do it in English and write it in Danish so I can hand out flyers? Do it in a PowerPoint show or do I make a video? But it was really hard. Like I was trying to come up with something that everyone could like understand relatively easily. So um, it wasn't until recently I got this idea of like music. Um, I was like, music is a thing that everyone understands. Everyone like it's a universal thing, and I wanted to do a song, but. <laughs> Worry, I'm not, I'm not. It's not a singer. Yeah. I'm not gonna sing. I know. Some, I'm sure some people want to see that. Um, it's not gonna happen. But um, there is another thing I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, before I do that, maybe just let's do another. Yeah. Bring up. Yeah. Well, the reason being is that um, I'll, I'll attempt to do something that might not turn out the way I wanted it. So a little alcohol might help in that, and again, it will, it will lower the price per alcohol consumption, so like, keep drinking, please. But, um, yeah, I said, no singer, but there's not an instrument, I'll, I'll give it a try. Is he gonna sing a song? What? Woo! Bradley! Bradley! Let's go! You know he's gonna practice. <laughs> As I said, this is still like not a, not a pro. In case you don't know, like some of you might not know, but, like I've never played a piano before. Or a keyboard, so. This is this is new. All right, let's see what happens. It might take a few a few attempts. Like, by the way, you're doing an awesome job, obviously, over there. Um, I, but I got this idea, like, it would be really fun to play a piano at the wedding. And um, I I'd sometimes do these things where I get a spontaneous idea and I kind of just do things right away. And that night, I went out and bought a piano. And then I, I set it up and I started practicing. <laughs> but I don't know if, like, I don't know if sheet, like, it's called sheet music. I also learned this recently. I don't know how to read music or anything. I just put a YouTube song on, I put it in front of me, and I was trying to, like, match it. So this is literally the only thing I can play, so don't ask me to song play. Um, but uh, it, it worked until, like, Lauren, like, um, obviously couldn't see it. So it was really hard. I couldn't just put the piano in, like, the living room or anything like that. So. In the past couple of weeks, we've lived at Bert's and Linda's house uh, because we, we are kind of homeless at the moment. We rented out our house. That's a different story, but <laughs> we've been living with Bert and Linda the past couple of weeks, and uh, just I pretended to go to our storage room to clean the oh. shed. So, oh. so, oh. 
to like clean this for like a couple weeks now and like reality has been sitting there like frustrated trying to learn the song it was really hard um so they again was it in the shed yeah it was in the shed yeah oh. no, i was dying no, i was dying in there that's why i had to that's why i had to buy the second ac yeah, like, oh my god it's very warm in that shed like there's no ac in there so it's like very little so that's like dripping sweat and i'm trying to learn the song anyway uh if you didn't guess the song it's called perfect and it's by sharon and the reason I picked this song, like mainly is because it was easy to learn. Yeah, I should, probably shouldn't say that, but it was, it was the easiest version. <laughs> like, so hard. The easier version to learn. But I also picked it because I thought it was really, it made good sense for today. Um, like, no things or no one are perfect. Uh, it's pretty damn close. This wedding venue is, is perfect. But other than that, like, no one and no one, no one or no things are perfect. But I do think, Lauren, you and I are perfect for each other. <laughs> anyway, the list could just go on. I have so many more. I have more things written here, but it's a long list of things that I think we were like you and I helping each other, complimenting each other. And Lauren, there's really no other person I'd rather share my last, the rest of my life with than you. So anyway, back to the, the back to the toast. Um, <laughs> this should be the last one. I'm um, I was serious about the alcohol being expensive. So like seriously, keep drinking and like keep drinking a lot. Um, Lauren, you make me happy, and I'm really truly excited to share the rest of my life with you. You're my best friend, and I'm really really excited to, as I said, marry you. Cheers. And thank you again, everyone, for coming out here today. Thank you. Cheers. Score. Score.